Mr. McEwen was taking his wife for a meal when the bomb exploded under his Ford Sierra car just after midnight. He had driven only a short distance from their house at Dunlady Drive. The IRA say they planted two pounds of Semtex explosive under the vehicle. A few hours earlier, Mr. McEwen's two children aged 10 and 14 had been playing around the car as it was parked in the driveway. They were in the house when the bomb exploded and a neighbour broke the news to them. Mrs. McEwen was apparently flung from the vehicle onto the pavement by the force of the blast and she received some burns. I could hear her screaming all the time, calling his name and uh, just generally being hysterical. I wasn't sure at first if it was her, whether it was just a hysterical neighbour or something like that, but um, it was her and uh, she was taken away in the ambulance. The scream, screaming is the part that um, I'll never really forget. It'll always be with me, I think. The IRA alleged the sales manager's company off the Crumlin Road in Belfast had supplied security shutters and fireproof material to police and British Army bases and to Stormont Castle. They also claimed he and other members of the firm had associations with the loyalist paramilitary group, the UVF. This has been strongly denied by his family and the company. After visiting the scene of the explosion, the local unionist MP Jim Kilfeder accused the British government of being more concerned about soccer hooliganism than with tackling terrorism. terrorism. We have suffered far too much in Northern Ireland. It's time that this government, which talks so much about uh, law and order in England, it's about time that it did, went out on an all-out assault against these evil men who destroy so many innocent lives.